All right, today I have a 2007 BMW 525xi transmission is a ZF 6HP19. And the problem with this is when the car is cold, and this also, let me mention, uh, is an M shift valve body, right? So it has the regular conventional shifter that you move to select the different ranges. Um, the problem is it does not come out of park when the car is cold and it produces a code of 4E20. And that code is solenoid valve one or solenoid valve A, electrical or circuit low, but bottom line is it's an electrical code. All right, so I'm out there. The, the came from a BMW shop. Um, I was talking to the owner. He says, uh, you know, we dropped the valve body, we changed the bridge seal, uh, put it back together, same thing. But that really wouldn't have anything to do with it because this is not an E-shift valve body. If it does break, it may give low pressure throughout the trans, but it shouldn't have anything to do with, with the part because the MV2 and MV3 solenoids not, are not even in this valve body. So we pick up the car, get it back here. Um, I got to let it sit outside uh, probably about two or three hours. And of course, I go to try it. I first, I first scan it when it gets here. Uh, no codes, engine or trains. Put it in the backyard, let it sit there. Um, go out probably uh, three hours later, start it up, put on a brake. I go to move the shifter. It's locked. Boom, transmission malfunction comes on. I get the scan tool. It's the, the only code that came back is the uh, the only code there is the 4E20. So uh, I try to clear the code. The code won't clear. So I just let the car run for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I go back out, uh, put the scan tool back up again, hit clear codes. The code's clear. The code actually cleared, and I'm able to move the shifter out of park. I could drive the thing around. It works fine. We drove the car back here. It worked fine. So we brought, I got inside. I wanted to make, make it a point to get the valve body out uh, last night. And, and this is it right here. And what we're going to do is uh, take off the uh, TCM and we're going to own the solenoid. So solenoid one, I'm thinking that should be the EDS one solenoid, which should be this end one right here, according to a diagram uh, that I was looking at. So I have my volt, uh, voltmeter here, and we're going to compare uh, the solenoid to the others. Uh, these solenoids, again, ohm out. You know, it could be between like five and six ohms. So anything uh, under or over that uh, it has the potential of being no good and also has the potential of setting the code. So what I'll do is I'll get a little closer. We're going to take this... Um, I get this DCM off, we're going to own these solenoids out and see what we have. Um, I'm sure the solenoid, something going on with the solenoid because that's the only code that sets. So we're going to see what happens. And I guess that's about it. So this week looks like it's uh, the CF week uh, for me because I have this one that just came in, this uh, 19 that we're going to repair. I have a 6 HP 26 on this bench I'm rebuilding against the valve body. ZF5 HP 24. I have a Land Rover I just finished and a ZF8 HP 90 I finished out of a Hellcat. And I have a Jaguar coming in today. Um, another ZF5 HP 24 and a BMW coming in this morning, which is uh, I think another ZF6 uh, HP 19. So let me get a little closer and we're going to take. We're going to own these out and we're going to see uh, if we, if this solenoid is um, off. I actually did not do anything yet because this thing came out last night. I wanted to, once we got this in, want to let it cool down. I had the tech uh, drop the pan before he went home and then I worked on it uh, after hours to get it out to um, check it this morning. All right, so let me get a little closer onto the valve body and let's see what we have. All right, so let's take these bolts out.
All right, now very carefully, see if we can start this here. just get the meter set up. So now we got the EDS1. Move this in view here. So now we got the EDS1 solenoid here. So this is what the code is for. So we're going to compare that uh, to the others. But if it is bad, um, once this guy opens, I'm going to sell him. I'm going to tell him he needs the solenoid kit. I don't just want to change the one. I'd rather do the whole kit because there's such a problem. And then of course after that, we do a shift to that reset with new solenoids. All right, so let me just get set up here with my meter and we're gonna own these things out. Let me just uh, switch angles here so everybody can see. Give me one second here. Okay, all right, so first let's see what a good one should ohm at. Again, these are like between five and six ohms. All right, so we have five ohms. We have five ohms again. And here is the problem one, EDS1. And wow, that's way out. All right, well, there is our code, and more than likely, there is our problem. Almost 36. Okay, that's good. That's good. Now here's the MV solenoid. This is a little higher. Okay, it's about 10. And we go five. Okay. All right. So we confirm this is our problem right here. So I just wanted to make a quick video uh, to test this thing out, you know, see what's going on with it. And we see that the EDS-1 solenoid is no good. So I actually have a, a solenoid kit here, brand new. I just actually keep one of these uh, along with the new bridge seal and a new sleeve because anytime I'm gonna change out the solenoids, I changed those out too, but these are uh, brand new. This is the most common set of solenoids, uh, so I get quite a few of these in, so I like to keep one of these in stock, because sometimes it would take me a couple of days to get them. So at least we know what we're looking at now. Solenoid kit should fix this problem, and it should clear the code out. Okay, again, 2007 BMW. 525XI uh, with a head code 4E20, ship solenoid valve 1 electrical. And again, when the car is cold, the car would not come out of park and the code would not clear. All right. Um, the weird thing is with the way solenoids work, a lot of times they fail. Uh, almost all the time, I mean, unless they're, it's a dead short, uh, the solenoids maybe tend to change state when they get hot, and a lot of times the solenoid fails when it gets hot. This one actually is cold. And I think what I'm going to uh, do here, uh, if I ever get the chance, I'm going to mean this solenoid is no good. So, and this is uh, like was almost 40 ohms, but I'm going to uh, maybe heat this up or let it get hot um, somehow. And I like to see what the ohms are when the solenoid gets hot because the code actually cleared and you could drive the car around all day. But when it was cold for about the first 20 minutes, the code would not clear and the car would not come out of park. So 
so that's a little I've never had actually something like this before but I was just troubleshooting of course you have to troubleshoot what code is there to um, see if you can find the problem um, but again uh, a lot of times when I'm checking electrical codes on pretty much any given car uh, a lot of times it would be when the car was hot and I would have to drive around with my volt meter or, or my graphing meter or whatever meter I was using at the time to see what would happen as the car would heat up and this is just the total opposite of what I normally see. So while I have this thing apart, I'm just gonna clean, do the typical uh, cleaning of this plate here, get all this crap out of it because these are magnets in here and this is the metal filings that attract on the, on the magnets. So I'm gonna do that as well while I got it apart, but I just wanna confirm that we are gonna fix this. Uh, there's really no other way I, I it was, it's easiest way to check this thing is to just drop this out and do this. All right, he, um, uh, the owner of the shop said, you know, he's not sure what he wants to do depending on what the problem is. So I'm gonna call him. Uh, give him the price of installing the solenoid kit uh, back in original pan and new fluid uh, which would be the lifeguard six and we'll go from there all right guys so again just wanted to share this problem i like to share these this type of stuff with you i find it interesting as well all right thank you guys for watching have a great day and we will see you next one